In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to export an image sequence out of Photoshop based on a movie that we've imported, converted to layers, and then those layers were converted into a video group where each frame of our movie was turned into a one frame image sequence. In the timeline, you will see our video group. You will also find this video group in our layer. So I can double click on the name for this video group and rename it. And we want to export this sequence of frames from Photoshop as an image sequence. In the past, we were able to select all of these layers and export them individually by going to File, Export, Layers to Files. But we're not going to do that. That process is very time consuming. To export 336 layers into individual files, it's probably going to take us over an hour. The fastest way would be to render this video group, not as a movie, but as an image sequence. To do that, we're going to go to the Timeline Palettes option, and we're going to go to Render Video. The Render Video will appear, and under Name, we have the ability to change the name that we want our image sequence to be called. So I'm going to leave the name the way it is, but I'm going to get rid of the .mp4. Make sure that you have an underscore at the end of the name because when we shoot the image sequence out, we're going to use a series of numbers and you want a space between the name and the number. So the underscore is going to work well. Next, you're going to select the folder where you want this image sequence to be in. Under Adobe Media Encoder, we're going to switch this to Photoshop Image Sequence. And notice that now our video attributes have changed to image attributes. So we can select Format. So I'm going to select a PNG. Under settings, we can specify PNG format options. Next is going to be the numbering of our image sequence. This is very important. Notice that for the example, we have file and then 000. We have three zeros because under our digits, we've selected three. Figured out how many layers you're going to export. In this case, we're going to export 336. So three digits is going to be perfect for us. You don't want to select four or five or six because then you're going to have a lot of zeros. You want to go from 001 to 336. Under document size, we're going to leave it the way it is. For the frame rate, we're going to leave it to 24 frames per second. This was the frame rate that we shot the video with and the same frame rate that we converted our movie into an image sequence. Next, we're going to select the range. I've selected all frames because I want to export all of my images but you can select a specific group of frames to export. PNGs have alpha channels, so if you wanted to render the alpha channel and maintain your transparency, you can select it here under alpha channel. If we have 3D elements, you could select interactive OpenGL, ray trace draft, or ray trace final. We're going to leave it to interactive OpenGL, and we're going to click on render. And I'm going to let Photoshop render this so that you can see how fast this process is. I'm rendering 336 images, all based on individual layers that are 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, it just took a matter of minutes. If I would have done it the more traditional way, that process would probably take me hours. Now we're going to go to our finder, and I'm going to find my folder. And there you have it all 336 frames exported out as an image sequence. And this is how we export image sequences from Photoshop.